First, we're going to be checking out Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. This is the official release date trailer. So let's dive in and take a look here, huh? All right. First, we're going to take a look at this trailer. We're going to watch it all the way through. And then I'm going to slow motion it and break it down and really, you know, try to dive into the nitty gritty. So let's go. What if I told you there was a connection between ancient cultures around the world? A great circle. Does it exist? Is it the key to some lost power? That's up to you to uncover. Nice. I'm Troy Baker, and... Oh, I Troy Baker. You. Hell yeah, it's bro. It's playing a character that so many people, myself included, look up to. No As way. As a kid, seeing Indiana Jones in the theater for the first time was a defining moment for me. <laughs> and I never would have guessed Hell that yeah. all these years later, I would be the one wearing the hat. But here I am. It's been a dream come true. A dream that I cannot wait for you to live for yourself. Huh. <laughs> The beauty of a first-person oh, game like this is that we all get to feel what it's like to become indie. You are the one who cracks the whip, who Ooh. feels the weight of every Oh, that was cool. The thrill of finding every clue. Indy is such a unique character. Oh, wow, the character looks really good. An archaeologist, a brawler, an yes. explorer, the quintessential all-around adventure. And this game has everything you'd expect from Whoa. Indiana Jones adventure. Mysterious artifacts. Ooh. Cunning villains, ancient discoveries, hard-hitting cool. action. It's a world of constant danger where you've got to think on your feet to stay alive. The Great Circle spans the entire globe. Oh, I love this. snake-filled jungle temples to scorpion-riddled desert tombs. Yes. Stunning oh. open areas to Whoa. explore freely, full of secrets for you to discover. And you'll get more than just the classic whip and revolver. Ooh. In his journal and his nice. camera. Nice will immerse you Fuck in yeah. the history, providing extra info on all of your finds. So, Oh, don't even get me going. I'm going to be using this camera all the time like I do in Red Dead. You can appreciate <laughs> all of the little historical details he obsesses over. And those details are your key to solving the ancient puzzles that hold the secrets you're after. Nice. But ancient secrets don't come easy. It's best to have an exit strategy. This Ooh. is an incredible new way to experience Indiana Jones, and I can't wait for you to play it. Oh. Hold on to your hat. Oh, dude. And Troy Baker narrated that thing really well. I forgot he was even narrating it after a while. Dang. Okay. Sick. Okay, so my first my first thought, initial kind of thoughts after looking at that is that they have went a long way to make sure that it looks authentic to Indiana Jones and they've kept to the roots of like the old movies like Raiders of the Lost Ark and all this stuff. It's <laughs> dude, this is the game I always wanted as a kid and they never had, right? That that wasn't very good. Now I'm I mean, I can't even imagine if this game came out like this, like looking like this, playing like this, when I was a kid watching this, you know, the movies for the first time. Oh dude, that would have been so sick. <laughs> They're late to the party with a game that looks this good for Indiana Jones, right? It's like 15 years too late, but the nostalgic hits hard because people like me and my cousin, a lot of other people, this whole genre is nostalgic. And so all a bunch of people my age and even before that are going to play this game for sure. And let's dive into the nitty gritty here. Let me slow emotion. Let me break it down. Slow motion for you. All right. We're at high quality. So let's go to, let's go back here. Wait, I pushed the wrong button. There we go. All right. So let me turn this down. One thing I'm excited about is the puzzles. I'm excited about what they're going to do with, with all the different puzzles and like what they're going to be because I have no idea what they're going to be. And the character, look, Indy looks pretty good. His leather jacket look looks all crinkled up and like uh, it's worn and torn in like the right spots. So far, like the animation wasn't too bad in here. Ooh, you can hear a car outside my window hauling ass. This is cool. I love the environments. Look at the environments. And then it looks like I'm out drawing with lipstick. I didn't even notice that before. This game is going to be really neat. They said it's going to come out or it's going to be in first person, but they're showing a whole bunch of shots that look like third person animations that you're doing as a character. But I think those are all cutscenes. I don't think any of those are actual like uh, 
in-game moments, if that makes sense. The the coolest thing I think about this game is that you're going to be able to kind of solve mysteries and discover stuff that's not in the movie. That's what I think is really cool. So I'm really hoping that like what they do in here is they they come up with different puzzles and different stuff that is very relatable to the movie, but is not an exact copy of the movie. You know what I mean? Now, seeing Troy Baker here is really cool because Troy Baker is like almost synonymous now with mocap and a bunch of these big games. I mean, come on, he played Joel for The Last of Us and he's played a lot of like big characters for games recently over the last few years and he's becoming a staple kind of in this industry <clears throat> first person mode for some people is going to be like um oh like in chat says right here first person is a turnoff for me so right so some people it's going to be a turnoff it's going to be something that they don't want to play just because it's first person they don't like that feeling of a game but I feel like you should try it out. What what looks neat is it feels like a, uh, a GoldenEye game. It feels like a James Bond game is what that looks like, but with Indiana Jones. So that's why I think it's kind of cool. I don't mind first person because I'm used to a bunch of first person shooter games now. But in either case, you can see here in this stage that they're shooting mocap in a different... Like their suits are getting more primitive and more primitive. <clears throat> Like this head cam right here, I don't see, like they must be using a really high resolution camera that's really small and light because it's, I don't even see the camera. Where is it? It, it must be embedded in this thing. I, I've never seen this head cam before. And look, it even has like a microphone that comes up on the top up here. This is really smart. I haven't seen this type of mocap setup before. It's kind of cool. Because usually you'd have a cell phone right here attached to here to capture all this, at least something. So there must be a camera right here that we're not seeing. That's really small, maybe. It's got to be. Wow, look how small it would be. It would be like an inch wide. How old is this footage? Everyone's wearing masks in the background. Yeah, this is probably during COVID. This is probably during COVID. I wouldn't doubt it. Dude, you got to remember, these games take forever to get made, these these type of, you know. <laughs> this game is probably five years in the making. They did this mocap, you know, three years ago or whatever, or in during COVID. This looks nice, though. It looks pretty cool. It looks a little low resolution up here on the top, but they've done a good job at it. And look, this is a different stage. Like, what does this say here on the goodbye Kansas on the floor it says goodbye Kansas not sure what that that is um but what up Vitor good to see you man welcome welcome to the live reaction so if you notice here he's holding a prop and that prop is kind of uh taped with green tape and it's got a bunch of markers on it because they're recording this prop as well just like mocap all these objects are getting recorded so that it works really well and that it, it kind of connects to each other. Some of the companies I've worked for, they don't have the technology to to kind of record the prop as well. And so you have to hand animate the prop. <clears throat> but in a bigger kind of stage like this and a, a, a really cool motion capture studio, they can they'll have that. They'll have that kind of capabilities per se. Because like the XN suits and some of the other stuff, you can only capture one prop and the prop has to literally be in your hand. So you can't like toss it back and forth or like put it on the table and come back and pick it up. You can't do any of that. And a lot of times you need to do that <laughs> with, a, with a prop. So if you want that technology, a lot of times you have to shoot at a, at a mocap studio. Chat says, I bet Harrison Ford couldn't give two shits. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. That is probably true. During the trailer, I saw a buddy cam first person. I hope they say correctly. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. Andy's character's model has Troy Baker's eyes. He kind of does. This is really weird that they're going to, like, take this rock and beat, beat someone with it or do something. I don't know what that scene is right there. Look, he's even, like, clinching his face. One thing that I think that I was the most impressed with is that 
they've made Indy kind of, even though he doesn't look exactly like it, it's pretty close. He really feels like Indy in a, in a bunch of these shots. See that? Like he he does look like Indy. And right here, this is what I'm talking about. They said it's in first person mode, but what is this then? What is this? Is this a cutscene? And if it is, why isn't he grabbing the rope? Like if you look really closely, he's he's not grabbing the rope right there. Like right there. See that? He grabs, but the rope like isn't there and it catches up. But see, then they show first person. I think the whole game is first person. Yeah, chat. I would definitely be checking out Mafia, the new trailer for that, right after this. Some things that you have to do with animation on in first person mode can be a little bit difficult, and and they can be a little janky looking sometimes. Or or um, so see like that. He has to extend his arm out really far to hold this guy's shirt, which he's not holding if you look carefully. <laughs> it's really hard to do that. It's hard to grab a shirt in a game. Most games will never do this because the technology behind like a cloth simulation and it bunching up in your hands and the cloth interacting with the hand is a very, 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 very difficult thing to do in a game. That's why you see here, he's not actually grabbing the shirt. He's just kind of like making a fist. See that? See that? He's not actually grabbing the cloth. The cloth is not moving at all. Because it's too difficult to do that. And then look. This is really... I mean, I'm going to... Look at this. I'm going to be nitpicky animation York. But look, the hand goes all the way through his arm. His, his upper body right here. Do you guys see that? Like, let me play it in slow motion again. Watch his left hand. Woo. His whole hand sinks into his chest. And that's because it's in game. This is not a cinematic. So they can't perfect that type of stuff sometimes. Like it linking up with the character perfectly. You know what I mean? Fire effects could use a little bit of work. Looks cool though. Love it. This is where it looks like Indiana Jones the most. Oh man, dude, this is so good. This looks like Harrison Ford. And look at the hair. The hair looks really good. This has got to be, you know, this a cinematic in the game. Hey, Richmond, what's up, man? Am I going to play Call of Duty Zombies with subs? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. No one's asked that yet, but yes, I am. I'm going to be getting the uh, Black Ops 6 for sure. And I'll play it live with everybody. I'm so down, dude. So down. Um, let's see here. This is really fun to watch, to be honest. Oh, nice. Right on, Ezio. Maybe he is so strong he can punch through his chest. <laughs> yeah, he's got like... he's got. A, I forget what movie that's from, but the guy like can literally punch right into the body and it like goes... Punk, like sucks in. Imagine wearing a leather jacket in the desert. Yeah, no shit, right? You'd be hot as fuck. That's so true. I didn't even think about that. This doesn't look as much like Indiana Jones here. Here I some forward, you know? It's a little off. I don't know what it is. It's hard to make an actor look just like the actor. That's why a lot of people bitch about stuff like that. Because it is actually kind of hard. Some of these other animations are dope, though. This is cool right here. Like this right here. Boom! <laughs> Socking people. And I wonder how the traversal system is going to be. Does it switch to third person mode when you start to traverse like this? Or is this just a cutscene? Like, I wonder if every single thing that you do is first person unless it's a cutscene. I'm hoping it's not. I hope they kind of break it out so that, like, you're in first person mode and then you go into third person to do something and then back into. That'd be kind of cool. See that? That's how that looks right there. I don't know if that'll be the case, but who knows? Yeah, see, this looks like Harrison Ford big time. Come on. Yeah, the grin. Ooh, the, the Oh, come on. They nailed it. They nailed it. Finally, a video game nailed it. And this looks incredible. Okay, the, this looked... When I first saw this scene in the trailer when we were just watching it, I thought this was real looking. Like, this looks real. The glints and the hints in their eyes, you know, the... the the specular highlight, they call it, is great. 
Look, they even have specular highlights inside the bottom of her eye to show that it's like wet. See that? Ooh. And look at his hair chin stubble. This is incredible. His hat. Dude, this is pretty good for an Indiana Jones game. This isn't like Rockstar or, or Santa Mon you know, Sony Santa Monica, people making God of War, right? This is a, a smaller studio that's developing this, and it's it's not as big as a lot of those AAA games are, whatever you want to call them nowadays, right? Wow in chat says, on the topic of first person and third person, do you know if it was planned to have a complete first person mode on the... No. I do know that. It was not planned. <laughs> they, for GTA 5, at like the last minute, at like six months before we released the game, they were like, oh, we should add first person. And everybody, like all the developers are like, what? You want to do what? You want to add? No, you don't. No way. This is fucking crazy. And everyone had to work crazy hours and work hard and, and, and make a ton of new animations. And f making a first-person mode for a game that doesn't have one is a giant undertaking. We're talking like a year extra delay for a game. It's a lot of work. And they didn't plan it to be a, have a first-person mode. It kind of came in later. Um, from what I remember. Uh, anyway, if you see here, look at Indiana. Look at his hand. It's not quite holding this thing right. Looks like his finger's going into it. Ooh, you see that? And it kind of passes it off abruptly. It, that too, see that? It goes right through his finger. It looks a little rough right here. Look. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, again. See, this is the stuff that I kind of do on my daily job. Okay, so just so you guys know, I'm a lead animator right now at the studio I'm at. And what I will do, um, well, I was just a lead on a certain thing. But anyway, the the point I'm trying to make is I will review a lot of people's animations and I will make sure they look good before they go into the game. And I try to be really nitpicky with it and I try to make it look as best as possible because I want the video game to look as best as possible. So like if this shot was shown to me by an animator, I go, uh, uh, hold on, you need to fix his finger. You need to do this. You need to, you know, all right, refix that, fix his finger there because a lot of stuff gets slipped by. Like we're watching this right now and a lot of this has slipped by. See, look, his fingers are going into that object as well. His hand doesn't grab that rope, right? These are all things to like figure out as a team, as a development team. And the more you scrutinize in games, I feel like the better they're going to get. The more we nitpick stuff, the better all this stuff is going to get, man. It's neat to see that in this game, they're going to have like um, sort of like mini games, it looks like. Like all these puzzles you'll be able to, to do will probably be kind of unique. Uh, wow, and chat says, damn, I thought it was something that was planned, especially because I remember first person being advertised for next gen. at the Yeah, but see, you're talking about for next. I'm talking about during the initial release of GTA 5, like the, the first copy, the first kind of version of the game that we released to the public. We had no no uh, inkling to, to add first person. And when we did it, it was really late to the process. You know, it was crazy. What up, Kilo? How you doing, brother? Welcome to the chat, man. Welcome to the live reaction and breakdown. All right. So we're checking out Indiana Jones. Welcome back. So another thing I noticed in here is the female characters kind of looked the same. I don't know if we're just seeing the same girl over and over, but it looked similar. Like their her uh, face. Looks like they're doing claustrophobic. And look, that he's doing, they're doing facial capture. Like we saw here. Like if you look closely, look, he's got all those little white markers on it. So they're doing some facial capture for Indiana Jones. And you can see it right here. Like when this thing plays, his eyes go all wide and he gets all, oh, watch, see? It doesn't look like metahuman, but it's definitely mocap. This looks cool. See, this is the stuff I was talking about earlier where, like, they're going to make you feel like it's the movie, but not actually copy the movie verbatim. 
right? Instead of snakes, it's going to be a scorpion pit and stuff. I like that. That's cool. I'm glad they're not like copying it frame by frame, the movie, right? You're going to go into different environments like this one. And all this stuff's going to like happen around you that's similar to how the, the Indiana Jones movies were, but for a video game, right? Different environments, different scenarios, different missions. This is cool as fuck. That right there is hard to do. If you guys see see what he just did right there, like so in a video game, getting a rope to kind of fly around and wrap over that, that's kind of a difficult process right here. And see, that's cutting to just the rope because I don't know if it could look that good like as you're running and jumping through there. See, this part right here feels like Goldeneye. Ooh, look at the animation on this. That was nice. This is really nice. Like I said, for a semi-lower budget game compared to some of the bigger games you guys see out there, this is pretty incredible. It's pretty well, you know, well done. I can't wait to take photos with my camera in here. I'm definitely going to be doing that. That looks sick. It does kind of look like VR at certain times. I agree with you. You could probably play this game in VR. Like this feels like very VR. Ugh. See how that thing just like floated over to it? You'd want to see his hand put it in there, right? Like, come on. I wish they would have done that. But some of these scenes are hard to do um, in a gaming environment when it's not a cut scene, if that makes sense. Right? When it's like in-game. Wow. I like this scene here. Ooh, where he's like crawling through all this stuff. Let me show it one more time. This. Whoa, dude. This looks like a creepy-ass fucking moment in the game, dude. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't think this is super low budget, but what I'm getting at is that this isn't the budget of GTA 5. This isn't the budget of God of War. This isn't a game of that magnitude, um, but it still looks really good, right? For 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 the budget it has is what I'm getting at. It, they did a good job. I don't know what the budget was on this game, but... I just know that it doesn't get the budget that <laughs> some of the other big, you know what I mean? Other big games do. Well, 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 Adventure Calls. Well, I hope you enjoyed the breakdown of that one, dude. Indiana Jane, Indiana Jones, <laughs> Indiana Jones, and the Great Circle coming December 9th, 2024.